Jack Red Arrows are playing in red today. Normally, this season, every time they've seen them here at the Coloma Stadium, they've played in blue. So I'm happy to see that the Red Arrows are playing in their traditional all red colours. Should be an interesting match as well. If you look back since the record started in 2006 that I have access to, but from Lusaka, so unlike the match referee in the previous encounter with Mchewe, who had to travel from Kabwe, about a two-hour drive. Mr. Wellington Kaoma is right at home. Okay. There'll be no minute silence at the start of this encounter, but the play with the entertainment was anything to go by in the first encounter between uh, one of the military sides, Green Buffaloes, and Naps, the Stars, the national tension side. Then these two sides level on points uh, on the table. Both have won three drawn five and lost one both have the same goal difference four both have the same points 14. The red arrows have scored 12 goals and the assembly have scored nine and that's why red arrows would be slightly ahead of the national assembly as far as the large standings are concerned so everything to play for as far as these two teams are concerned this is joseph zimba for Stanley and Shimi. It's quite influential down the Red Arrow, uh, Napsa Stars. Yeah, there was a very, very lucky head off for Robert and Mwanza. The big man, and he had plenty of leverage as well as he bustled his way into the penalty area. The header just over the crossbar. And Kaoma all grabbing goals on that day. I think they led by goals a little at half time. In the second half, they really piled on the pressure on the newcomers. Reasons are that uh, Timothy Mbewe, Chabusha, Malumani, and Samuel Simukonda, three players, are on loan to National Assembly from Arrows, so they cannot play against their parent club. So uh, it's a bit of a downer there, but those are the rules of the game. And we have seen that uh, in other clubs as well. Not on the aerial route anyway. Nice defense from Chipinka Mosolo. Nasi Bande. So Daniel Sabanda, every single time we've seen him, has been mighty, mighty impressive. He fetches and carries. He worked that looks the better of the two teams at the moment. Again, a clearance by Mojali Mabanga. The National Assembly have been driven onto the back foot uh, from early on, and they haven't really found any space except on the counter into the half of Red Arrows. Free kick taken. Oh, there's all sorts of confusion in the defence of National Assembly. The ball hadn't gone out of play. Mojali Mabanga clears up to halfway but the pressure's is not uh, done quite yet Shattered for Lombo. Yeah, the passing of a coach who doesn't only form the part of a coach but he'll be a mentor as well to some of the younger players and it's a, a devastating blow for Zambian football Mwale. and kind of also they're missing the likes of Christopher Montali uh, there's the, the big man in that defense but he's uh, Older brother. Sapande Piri. Still a chance. It's gone over the top from Red Arrows. Well, well, he was doubled off the ball and he's appealing to the referee, Mr. Wellington Gaoma, for a free kick. Gets nothing out of it. But here they come again. It's a red tide at the moment. This should be a little easier for Robin and Wanza. National Assembly. Really, really under the cosh. In oh, what's this? Free kick to Red Arrows. National Assembly continue to get themselves into a little pickle every now and again. So Sibanda will be on the ball here. Ones are trying to position the wall to his liking, which uh, isn't quite there at the moment. Six man wall for National Assembly. Stand in Shimbi, no doubt, will want to be involved in this. and. Daniel Sipander himself. Offensive to Lin Shimbi who will have a dart. Adam Wanza, and it is. And that's a great goal, it really is. Well taken. The wall doesn't do its job. Stanley and Shimbi has Red Arrows in front. What a goal. And uh, what a celebration I guess to goodness. Talk about a uh, love foot fans. Middle. Evans and Wanza.
just no, seemingly no way through. Well, Shadrick Mambo trekking back here and uh, making that decisive interception. But Peter Mangani there, and I don't know whether you feel that he should have shot, because I'm not really sure to go. And that's the reason, because they're being caught out, that really good tracking there from uh, National Service, from uh, for him, uh, it went completely out. Player down in the middle of the park, there seemed to be an off the ball incident. Referee playing on though. And uh, Mumba cut out by Mutali Mubanga, but it's just a completely rear guard action from National Assembly at the moment. Just almost all of their touches are in defensive mode, trying to wrest position away from our up front from National Assembly. Well, they are beginning to string some passes together, which is. Uh, something to not because they've really been under pressure still should we still say that they have not hit the shot on target absolutely it's been a quiet day for Ken Mumba but you all the chances will be in Kabwe at the Godfrey Chitalu Stadium with the bottom of the table clash Kabwe road well then slowly but surely National Assembly beginning to just uh, put things together there and uh, finally we've seen Robert uh, we've actually seen Ken Mumba there just uh, to the pocket there, but he hasn't. Nonetheless, forward by Sakala. But still, National Assembly haven't been able to put a shot on target. Sipanda chases hard with Rex and Carter. Still, Sipanda on his, on his uh, strong foot there. Sipanda just uh, maybe just couldn't shoot with that uh, pace that he was running at and look at that the pass brilliantly done and see what the captain there coming wide but really just fluffed it if you ask me yeah no composure with the final touch from the captain of red arrows he's been it's a jaffet bunda absolutely no way through and bunda's picked up an injury jaffet that is shimbi Inside and outside of Brexit Cutter. Still in Shimbi. That's a good save from Mwanta. Very good save by Develo Piri there. A lot of. That is the reason that uh, we have. Uh... So, really turning into the part of fierce challenges and battles going on uh, between Red Arrows and Nationals and take them a little bit closer to the top four. And here's a chance for Buntali. Malambo, Sibanda, three minutes of stoppage time already elapsed. And, oh, too cool from White Simwanza. Jeff Banda in there. It's still Jeff Banda. Opportunity! <laughs> on the keeper grabs it away from Isaac and Korma. Just when they needed the luck the most, it didn't happen, but good pass there. And again, it was a lot more closer there involved. That one should have been that should have been the time that they should have scored it. Isaac Ngoma there, the subject could have made a huge name for himself and put himself in contention for the starting lineup next week against uh, the team of the good playing Ron United Assembly. A nice opportunity all the hard work done on the right hand side by Jeff Bunder. And Jeff Bunder followed up into the penalty area as well. And his fellow substitute Isaac and Gorma wasn't able to finish, and King Mumba was brave.